Welcome to the Shapiro Library Makerspace video series on designing posters. In these videos, we will talk about some best practices and tips for layout, visuals, and text that will help you create high-quality posters. In this video, we'll be talking about best practices finding and using visuals on your poster. Visuals can quickly communicate information to your audience when done right. They should not be overly complex and should be clear, pleasing to look at, and purposeful. Images shouldn't be purely decorative or to fill space. Visuals draw attention, and your audience will be drawn to the biggest, most colorful visual when viewing your poster. Keep this in mind and be sure that this is where you want their attention to focus on your poster. There are different ways to visually communicate data, and the method you choose depends upon your goals. A graph or a chart is used to quickly communicate broad concepts like a trend in data. Tables or text are better suited to convey specific data. When you are incorporating visuals into your poster, whether you create them yourself or find them online, it is important to be aware of how they will appear when printed on a full-size poster. One indicator of image quality is the number of pixels in the image. An image is made of pixels, so the higher these numbers are, the better the quality of your image. If you view the detailed properties of an image, you'll see its dimensions expressed as pixels. As a rule of thumb, you will get the best print quality if you have 600 pixels per inch of width. The easiest way to determine if your image has an appropriate number of pixels for the size of your poster is to zoom in to 100% on your screen and look at it. If it appears blurry, you may need to look for an image with higher pixel numbers. Online search tools like Google Images are great places to find visuals for your poster. Remember that visuals shouldn't be used as filler, but to communicate with your audience. Google Images has some options to help you find quality images. When you search, there's a Tools option where you can limit results by size. You can select Large to find images that are likely to be an appropriate size for poster use. When you're finding images, be mindful of copyright concerns. In a student academic project, there may be a case for the fair use of images regardless of their copyright status. But this is not always the case. The Tools menu includes a Usage Rights pull-down that allows you to limit your results to images that are labeled for reuse and modification. If you need to resize an image, you should be careful not to stretch it. This can be achieved by locking the aspect ratio. If you want more information about creating charts and graphs, altering images, or the basics of using programs like PowerPoint or Publisher, check out Who Knew It on the library's website for instructional videos. During our next video, number three, We'll discuss text and the poster printing services offered at the Shapiro Library Makerspace.